Good morning. It is Wednesday, April 4th. Ooh. I am walking to my apartment gym to see if someone is there to let me in. I did a little mini rant on Instagram yesterday and I can't remember if I told you guys on the YouTube. But if you watch my Instagram, which you probably do, I hope, you know that Brian lost the apartment gym key. Of course, I knew he would. I told him he was going to. He loses everything. So now I don't have a way to get in the gym to do my morning fasted cardio. I either have to bang on the door and hope that someone can hear me and let me in or I have to drive to the gym and pray that no one is on the one treadmill that my gym has. So right now I'm walking to my gym at my apartment to hope someone can see me and hear me and let me in. I see people in there so I think I'm gonna get lucky. Don't judge me. Christmas wreath, Christmas mat, April 4th. Merry Christmas. Oh, hello. Hi, Miss Peanut. Hello, my little peanut bean. Oh my God, how can I like Oh, this is what moms feel like with children. Like, I have never in my life felt this type of love. Like, it's different than romantic love. Like, this is like real deal love. Oh, God, you're all I fucking need. You're all I need. I mean, Brian, too, but like, this is... Whew. God, the love I feel, it's insane. It's actually insane. Moms, I get it. Mom, I understand how much you love me now because, oh my God, I fucking love you. And your face, I just love everything. Ah. Good morning, it is Thursday, April 5th. I am driving. Speed bumps in Florida, like, kill me. Um, I'm driving to Trader Joe's and I'm gonna pray that you can see my face because I had to stick my camera on my dashboard and I have no idea if this is in the way, if you can see my face, but if you can't, then just listen. And hopefully my camera doesn't fall from all these fucking speed bumps. But I am on my way to Trader Joe's because someone uses my Stevia now who's never used my Stevia before. Can you guess who? Yeah, you guessed it. So I am on the way to get my stevia because I'm having coffee and I'm having cream of rice and stevia needs to be present in those meals. So I want to give you guys a little update for the day because I texted Paul, my coach, and I am increasing my carbs every single day this week and I trained legs yesterday. I did like a high volume leg workout and I was up this morning, just point two, which is nothing, honestly. Um, I'm up to 107.0, which is fine with me. I'm not upset about it. What the actual fuck, Florida? Holy shit, people drive like idiots. It's insane. And they all, ugh, whatever. I'm not gonna rant about driving right now because that'll take all day. Um, so I was up a little bit, but I'm sore. I had a high volume leg day, but I still went heavy. I went heavier than I normally would actually because I'm kind of working on my strength right now. Um, 
now that we're reverse siding. So I hope you can see me. I have no fucking idea. So I texted him because it's a rest day today. Uh, it was supposed to be a rest day today. And, and I was kind of stressed out about it because I'm increasing my carbs every single day. So today I'm eating 285 grams of carbs, which is more than I've had. It's more than my refeed actually. Um, and to completely rest and not do cardio was giving me super anxiety and I have a hair appointment today. So I'll be sitting in a chair for like two and a half hours. Um, doing nothing just sitting there so uh, I was like fucking freaking out so I want to just get Paul's opinion this morning rather than just like work out and inflame my body more without telling him I really wanted his opinion so I gave him a breakdown of what my weight's been doing this week what I've been training and he told me to have a total rest day um, I am sore I didn't even tell him I was sore because I thought if I told him I was sore he would tell me to not work out and I truly wanted to do something today um, but I am very sore so he, as my coach, told me to take a total rest day, so that is what I'm gonna do, and I'm just gonna breathe and I'm not gonna stress about it. So, he said to do just walks outside, like outdoor walking, and if I wanted to do something active that is outside of the gym, the gym that is totally fine. So, of course, when he said that, my brain was like, what the fuck, what can I do that's active that's not in the gym? So I'm just gonna take you along for this day. Um, I'm gonna take you along all week long. So right now, I woke up this morning, I took photos for him so he could see where I'm at. I did a little posing for him because my posing routine just completely changed. I haven't showed you guys yet. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it a surprise or not. I fucking love it. I feel so confident. It's amazing. I love my routine so much. Um, but I just learned it a couple days ago. So I have to practice. Um, and so I did that this morning, sent him, talked to him a little bit but after he told me, I got his text actually when I was going for a walk outside. I just did a walk around my apartment and I did a little, little over two miles of just like a power walk this morning listening to a podcast and I still have not eaten today. I had took my CLA plus carnitine. I took my B4 fat burner. Just came inside to make my breakfast. Found out we didn't have stevia. So that's what I'm doing right now. Going to get my stevia. But that's the game plan for today. I'm resting. I am just going to work. Um, I Today is my day off from work every Thursday. I don't schedule check-ins, but I'm always working, obviously, just on future client plans, on YouTube, creating content, and I actually, I do business coaching, one-on-one -on -one business coaching on the side. I don't promote that very often because I don't want to get overly saturated with business coaching clients because I want to serve them and give them results um, really on a one-on-one -on -one basis, so I help people that want to transition into online coaching and making this their career, I help them do that. And so I have a FaceTime call later tonight with my business coaching client, one of them. And uh, that's all I have planned for the day in, in my hair appointment. So I'm just going to be taking walks outside after every meal, just kind of just trying to be active and be up and not sitting. And then after my hair appointment, me and Brian, this is the plan right now. It totally could change, but Brian and I are going to go bowl so that is the plan for today. I don't want this talk to go too long because my videos are always so long and I'm so sorry for that, but I think you guys like it. I fucking hope you do. Um, so I'm about to pull into Trader Joe's, make my breakfast. I will just kind of show you a full day of eating today, what I'm doing. Um, so I will catch you for my cream of rice. Oh, one more thing. I'm also sipping on BCAs because I haven't eaten yet. I woke up at 7.15, I had my CLA plus carnitine, had my fat burner, went for a walk, forgot my BCAs during my walk, and so I'm just drinking them now. So I literally just pulled in, I'm gonna run in and get this stevia so I can eat. I will see you for cream of rice. All right, finally, breakfast. Cream of rice, egg whites, s'mores, BPI protein. I have cacao nibs from Trader Joe's and cashew butter, salt, and cinnamon. I'll put the macros on the screen for you. Nice big ass fucking meal for today. I have Starbucks iced coffee. Again, just bought it at the grocery store. Nothing special. And water and then my YouTube TV. We're gonna watch the Kardashians because nothing else is on. And I 
am that girl right now. So I'm gonna enjoy this delicious big fucking bowl, big warm bowl of cream of rice. This honestly leaves me so full for hours. I love it. Like I have a hard time finishing it, to be completely honest. It is so filling. So I'm gonna eat this, go for a walk around my little community and get some work done. I'll see you guys later for my next meal. All right, it is 12.45 and I just heated up my second meal of the day. I have, I don't honestly, I can't, I don't even remember how much, doesn't matter how much rice I'm eating. I'm just eating a fuck ton of rice, asparagus and ground turkey. And then I squeezed one lemon over the top. Lemon, the acidity actually helps break down your food. So if you're having problems with digestion, I'm not having problems with digestion, but I'm eating a lot every day uh, more more and more and more every day so i want to just make sure my digestion is like on point and my body is good at digesting the volume of food i am eating now um i seasoned this all with eat clean meal prep taco party a little bit of salt and then some hot sauce i love the cholula hot sauce just a little bit of it um i don't want too salty of a meal i can always go back and add more if i need it so I'm gonna eat this. <clears throat> I have my water. I've done two 30 minute walks outside so far. I do one full lap, or two full laps, I'm sorry, around my apartment complex. And one lap is, about, is a little over one mile. So I just do a little speed walk. I did a, a Facebook Live in my eight week challenge group. So that was fun. And then after this meal, I'm gonna go for another walk because I have a hair appointment and I will be sitting down doing nothing for a couple hours. So I'm gonna enjoy this get walking mm. so much food i love it <clears throat> i'm gonna eat this this is <clears throat> oh my god i'm so sorry 76 grams of carbs worth i don't remember the macros off the top of my head but i will add them to the bottom of the screen like always so you guys know how much i'm eating but if you want to copy my macros go right the fuck ahead you'll be eating a lot <laughs> i'm gonna eat this bye right, i am you can't see my head but i swear i'm here I am putting together my meal that I will be eating at the hair salon. So, I have boar's head, lower sodium, skinless turkey breast. It is 46% low sodium. I'm doing three ounces of that quick and easy protein. Perfect. And I will be having 100 grams of kimchi with that. This is random. But this is what you gotta do to get your macros in. And I'm really not mad about it. Because I love fucking deli turkey. And I love fucking kimchi. This is the kimchi that I buy from Trader Joe's in the produce section. If you cannot find kimchi, go to your produce section. Probably buy like the um, lettuce, salad, like the salad dressings that are refrigerated. And I'm having it twice today. I fucking love it. It has changed my skin. It has changed my digestion, my weight loss. I'm trying to get all my clients to eat it. If you're a client and I haven't talked to you about this, please give it a try. Brian was having some really hard weight loss plateaus and he trusted me enough to do a meal plan for him very next day the kid was down three pounds so uh he i woke up and the first thing he said to me was christina you need to be a prep coach and i'm like why what's going on and he's like you got me down three pounds and i feel amazing his diet he wasn't going to the bathroom tmi i'm sorry he wasn't going to the bathroom and uh now he's going very regularly again so that is one tupperware i'm bringing three tupperware so this is part one of the meal. Then I'm gonna do 80 grams of a banana. I believe 80 grams. 80 grams. I love banana and I don't have it enough. Oh my God, so good. This is a small banana, so I'm not sure. I might need another one. All right, so I have 80 grams of banana. I'm actually gonna throw some cinnamon on top. Stir it all together, deliciousness. 
All right, and the second part of my meal is rice cakes. I should be eating three caramel rice cakes. I only have two, so I'm gonna pack these two, and then my hair salon is actually in the same um, parking lot as Publix. Oops, sorry. So, I'm apologizing to you as if I hit you. I'm an idiot. We're friends, that's why. So, I'm gonna leave for my hair appointment, I guess, five minutes early, so I can head over to Publix and grab a pack of caramel rice cakes because I need a third one. So, this is my meal. My hairdresser is gonna laugh at me. She usually, they usually laugh at me because I bring my gallon, but that's my meal plus one more rice cake. I'm gonna eat this when my hair is like almost done. And then I will see you when I get home. Back from the hair salon, I got my hair colored and she put my extensions in, but I just put my suit on and they are too long. I bought a 20, 22 inch extension. I bought 22 inch extensions because I had no idea how they would fit my body and how long they would be. And so I figured I might as well get them longer and then I can cut them if I need to rather than getting them too short and then having them be like the same length as my hair already because my hair is pretty long already but my coach said I should get extensions so they're pretty long pretty damn long um but I'm gonna call her and see if I can make an appointment to just cut them like that much that much but I'm gonna show you my meal that I'm gonna eat at the bowling alley we're going to go bowling right now as my little active rest day so here i have butternut squash ground turkey asparagus rice coconut oil which i'm going to weigh out in a second and then this holy guacamole avocado verde i'm just going to put the coconut oil in my meal top it with avocado the guacamole and i will just eat this cold at the bowling alley so that is that see you at bowling this bowling alley is so nice. It has an arcade. It is a it's a burger and beer restaurant in the bowling alley. There's a movie theater. It's so fucking cool. I love it here. This is like the ultimate date night. If you're like if you can eat <laughs> bowling restaurant movie is fucking awesome. Let me show you. So nice. These comfy couches. You can order food right here. There's menus. I'm not even going to look at it. Fuck that. Brian's going down. <laughs> Brian's actually a super good bowler. No joke. He was in a league when we were when we lived in New York. He's just he has his own bowling ball. <laughs> He's serious. He's a serious bowler. I fucking suck. So but you know, it'll be okay. It'll be great. Woo! Nice job, baby! <laughs> nice job, babe. All right, first game. Brian killed me. One fifty five to seventy four. I'm gonna do a lot better this game. Both of us, yeah. He's gonna get 200, I'm gonna get 100. Right, babe? Right. And then we eat soon. again but I did better he did worse I did better
Just got out of my Epsom salt bath. I'm about to make my last meal, which I'm just gonna show you exactly what I do for it. But I wanted to give you like a quick little physique update at the end of the night. It is 9.45. I've had probably around 2,000 calories so far probably a little bit over because my last meal is my smallest um so i wanted to show you it's my smallest meal at the end of the night and my lowest carb meal at the end of the night because my fats are higher um in this meal so i if fats are high like high high i keep carbs low so i want to give you like a quick little physique update just to show you what i look like at the end of the night because i always do physique updates in the morning i'm gonna like stick you in my ring light because the lighting in my house is just terrible right now and you can't see anything so ring light so this is the current physique I guess current abs not too bad I'm pretty uh, surprised at this I'm trying to show you my side shot it's just hard to really get the full ugh. I'm definitely flexing right now, but I just, I've always had abs. Um, Brian's in the background. So I guess I'll wait for him. Um, so I've always had abs, really, ever since I started training, because I attribute my abs to all the ab work I did when I was a newbie. Um, I use weights, weighted ab crunches, and honestly, I say this every time I talk about my abs, um, not wearing a belt for squatting. <laughs> I still don't wear a belt. I broke my, I had a, I have a PR of 230 pounds for five reps. Still wasn't wearing a belt. I don't wear a belt, I don't wear squat shoes, I don't wear knee sleeves. So just imagine how strong I would be if I uh, wore those things. But a belt makes me feel suffocated and I hate it. I can't squat, I can't breathe, I freak the fuck out. Um, I feel the most comfortable when I am just me squatting the weight. I don't know, that's what I like. So I'm gonna make my last meal. Here we go. Four ounces of egg whites. What you making, babe? I am making um, 150 grams of egg whites. That's probably close to four ounces, I'm not really sure. Let's see, I'm weighing out four. I always do egg whites by the ounce. I know. Always. 114 grams. All right, so I have one, I think I have 135 actually, so just a little bit more than mama. And then I have 100 grams of you already know, my favorite, kimchi. I have it in the, my, for my second meal, and then I have it right now because my fucking carbs are so much. I wanted to add it to my last meal just to get some probiotics before bed, help my digestion for when I weigh myself in the morning. And then I am doing super random meal at the end of the night once again. Your meals don't have to be a meal. It can just be food. So I got two plain lightly salted rice cakes. And I'm just going to season my egg whites with this everyday seasoning from Trader Joe's. Brian got it the other night and it's really good. I like it a lot. Yeah, it is today. It's great. It's good, right? And then I'm just going to do my obvious, as always, creamy cashew butter, two tablespoons, 32 grams. Best way to measure your nut butter. Put the nut butter on your scale, turn your scale on so it is at zero, and then take however many grams you need from that never ever 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 measure with a measuring spoon because you will always be eating more just trust me and then this is extra but i think it's fucking delicious i sprinkle like literally i try to do the tiniest amount of stevia 
Oh shit, that was a lot. And then I always add cinnamon, always, always. Last meal part one, last meal part two. All right, egg whites, kimchi, rice cake, almond butter, delish. I will put the macros on the screen for you. I'm gonna finish my night after I eat this, cleaning up the kitchen, taking a little 10 minute walk, literally 10 minutes, 15 minutes, just up and down my sidewalk, and then I'm gonna get to bed, and then tomorrow it's, what is it, babe? Leg day, check-in day. Tomorrow is 305 grams of carbs. Hell yes, hell yes, hell yes, hell yes. I'll vlog it all for you. I'm just vlogging every fucking day for you. I'm gonna eat and go to bed with a happy heart because I get to wake up and have cream of fucking rice with cacao nibs and cashew butter and s'mores protein. And it's my favorite meal of the day and I can't wait to eat it. Tomorrow's gonna be the best day of my life. Good night. Please like the video and please Please subscribe if you would. That would be great for me. I'm trying to grow this channel. And please comment below if um, you like want to see anything specific or if you liked something specific that I did. I want to vlog in the ways that you like to watch. So let me know. Have a good night. Love you guys.